Welcome back to my Carson channel. This was the practice of GP2. So the format was a 10 minute practice and then that was followed by a 15 minute qualifying and then it was a 30 minute grid started race. And in the race all drivers must complete a car change in the pit lane during the course of the race. So usually you can choose when you pit. It's, you, it's most of the time you can't pit in the first five laps I think it is or the last five laps so you can usually pit in between any of that and basically in that 20 minute window you can choose but for us because it was there were 17 people on track we had to wait for the black flag to come in because I don't know why really I can't really remember what they said but we just basically got randomised we all had to come in when we got black flagged change our carts and then yeah so that video will be out I'm not sure when it'll be out but I'm gonna edit them over the next couple of days so if you're watching this when this video comes out it might be out in a week's time or something because I'm a bit busy at the moment so I'm just gonna not be able to not, not gonna rush them because I don't want to rush the videos because then the quality isn't as good so you just have to wait a little bit to get this that video out so I just let pass there by Joe Parkin just give me a little bit of space because it's this is only practice so you don't really need to be racing it's just pretty much warming up ready for qualifying setting some quick lap times in the laps don't really matter it's just warming your cart up actually doesn't even doesn't even matter warming your cart but you're just warming yourself up because you change carts for the practice for the qualifying so yeah so this practice was literally just warming myself up getting used to the track again and some there's a spinner there and there'll be a yellow flag now just to get that spinner out of the wall because I'm guessing that was their first time on the international track but that wasn't actually the international track so I'm not sure how they spun there but it happened so we had to go on yellow for a bit I'm not sure how long the yellow flag lasts for but I actually could have that was a very quick yellow flag to be fair so I've caught up to Johnny ahead a little bit and I'm not planning on battling Johnny so I think I just stay behind a little bit. I messed up going into the corner there. But yeah, I'm not fighting for positions. I'm just getting good laps in, really. So you'll see in a minute, I actually let someone past because I was getting too close to Johnny. So I wanted to just make a gap between me and the carts ahead just so I could really warm up, really. So again, if you are a returning viewer of mine, you know what's going to happen now. But it's not me saying it today. It's one of the members, Lewis Highland. Just in case you didn't know, you can only set the IKC lap times on a Monday or a couple of seconds. But I do advise going to the Monday because they're very, very good. Thanks. So that was Lewis Highland basically just saying you can't set BIKC lap times on Thursday evenings because they are run on the international track. So you either have to go to public sessions or a Monday night. And as, as you can hear, Monday nights are well worth it. So I went along Johnny here just because I wanted to try and get past him got past him but then he fair enough he got the corner at this point I realised I won't be able to get past him because to be fair to him he was defending well so I just try to back off a little bit and I think I let past Lewis Brooks he's just behind me and I think I let him past in the next couple of laps or so so as you can see on this straight I just slow down a little bit try and create a little bit of a gap between me and Johnny because as you can see there's more cards ahead but Johnny's now being backed into me by the slower carts ahead so we're sort of creating a train here so I'm just thinking I'm going to have to either get past Johnny or drop back and as you'll be able to see in a second I will be dropping back so yeah I, I now realise it's not the time to be battling and Lewis comes through in a minute I think it's just under here somewhere He just got past me fair and square. I didn't let him pass, but he went for the dive bomb, and then it, pretty carnage at this point. And then I realised there's no point battling Lewis because he's a very fast driver. So just drop back, and you'll see me pull off the accelerator a little bit along here, break early into the corner, because as you can see, DRS train, DRS train. It's not really a DRS train when there's no DRS in a car, but it's a train forming. 
Um, that's my F1 coming in. I didn't, didn't mean to say that. Sorry. Um, so yeah, I'll just start dropping back in a second because it's. I'm not going to get any quick laps in or warm up my myself really when I'm in a train like this. But I've got a cart right behind me, so I've got to try and you know, see you getting bumped all over the show. And I'm just trying to create a gap to the cart ahead but then not get overtaken from the cart behind because then I'll have to restart all my progress of creating a gap so I just keep looking back every now and again just checking the gap behind me making sure that I can slow down a little bit and Lewis then gets past doesn't get past because gets defended but I think he gets past at the end yeah he does get past in the end and then those two are battling ahead I go for the move because I know I'm faster than 27 so I'm going to go for the move in a second I mess up into the corner there and the gap's opened up again which is what I want really but then I've just gained massively on the cart 27 here cart 27 was going for some very questionable moves I think they were a little bit jealous yeah I should point them because making some very questionable moves in a practice session because, like I said, it's not about racing and practice. So, the gap's opened up massively from 27 to Lewis. The door opens for me to get past. But they've just got the speed along the straight. So they cut me off. But I'm going to get a better exit through here. Give them a little tap because I'm just sliding. A bit of a drag race down the ramp and I get through. So I had the inside corner and then I get a little tap from behind. Because, again, very questionable moves from the driver. But, hey, you have to live with it. But I'm ahead now, so I'm just focusing on getting some quick laps in. Let me just have a little look at what my fastest lap was in this session. So this, my, I was actually fastest overall in this session. So I got a 49.417. Which, it's an okay lap. It's pr a pretty good lap, to be fair but I know I can go quicker but again I was just stuck in traffic for quite a lot of it so as you can see ahead Johnny and Lewis so Johnny's the one in the yellow helmet Lewis is the one in the black helmet uh, they're battling ahead and I was just watching from behind really because like I've said I wanted to just create a big gap but not too big where I'm gonna be losing out on time just a, a big enough gap so I can get a good lap in and not too big where I'm going to be losing to the cards ahead and this was actually my fastest lap because you can see from the start of the lap to now I've gained quite a bit of time on the on them both ahead you can see Lewis just looking for the move down the inside but Johnny cuts him off and I just I'm all over the back end of Lewis now in 55 because Johnny, he's been slowing down quite a lot by Johnny and at the end of the session, Lewis actually told me that he was just trying to get past Johnny, but he just couldn't get past him. And now as you can see, I'm right behind him. And I'm about to finish my lap. So that was my fastest lap of a 49.417 in this session. And like I said, I was just going for lap times really because the racing didn't matter. I hit the barrier there. This was pretty bad lap. So I dropped back, try and get a big gap. And that car, I'm not sure what car that was, but got let past. You can see I'm just looking behind, making sure that I'm not going to interfere with anyone else's laps. And then I go along the straight here. You can just see them two battling again. And I'm just looking around, making sure that I'm not going to be getting and interfering in anyone else's laps. Because that's what you don't want. If you're interfering with someone else's laps, it's just annoying. Because it's happened to me before. And it's so annoying because you're on a fast lap. And then if someone's ahead of you slowing you right down. It's so annoying because it happened to me in the race, which you'll see, which you'll be able to see because I'll be uploading that. And yeah, it's just to get in the way and back markers. It's just quite annoying. So yeah, it's just so this is the final lap, and I'm just going for a push lap, but it didn't matter because we go into the pit lane at the end of the lap. So I slowed down the lap before for nothing because this was going to be my push lap to get a good lap in. And you can see the gaps starting to close, but the lights go yellow and we have to pit. 
So I was pretty annoyed because I think I felt I was quite fast on that lap, but hey, I should have I should have realised because I have my dad on my intercom, so I would have realised that it was the end of the session. And yeah, it's fine. I still got first in the practice. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.